I've always seen that white line on the sidewalk. I never knew what the white line was there for. Right after we painted it, I got calls from everybody wondering, what's up with the white line? People are beginning to ask, what is this white line that's shown up throughout the city? And it's exciting to hear because I think it's the most tangible way that we know that people are using the Greenway. The Spick River Greenway is a neighborhood transformational project that links people to the river. In total, it's three and a half miles long. The Greenway is a natural gem that is here in Lawrence. When people are walking on the Greenway, they're going to discover so many beautiful parks. I say discover because they didn't even know they existed. I found it really interesting how they actually found a way to maneuver through the city. I haven't walked it yet, but I would like to soon. It's pretty cool to see this white line stretch all across the city. Me and my son are still trying to get through the entire line. He keeps on saying, I don't know how much further it is, this is cool. <laughs> some of the park were hardly used, if used at all. And some of them were not even known by the people in the community. Now with the linkage of, of the Greenway, uh, they all come together. You know, the pathway from one end of the city to the next one has become the thing to use. My name is Lorene Lopez. I've lived in Lawrence all my life. My son is Lorenzo, he's seven years old and he's a second grader right now in school. It's pretty nice to be able to have my son come and bring his bike and the both of us can come here and this is kind of like a peaceful area now so we can actually chat. He'll tell me about school, tell me what he likes. We'll talk about nature, you know. We love coming out here to ride our bike. It's been amazing to see the growth of the city, especially in just a short span of my son's life. I remember when he was first born, I would literally go and travel to like Peabody or Boston just to have a nice decent park for him to play in. One of the visions of the community was the Spicket River Greenway. And that seemed like such a far away dream. I mean, we're talking about a river with flooding issues, contamination issues, and how could this really become an asset? And that $3 million project is now about to have the ribbon cutting. And now it's really important to turn our attention to how do we steward this? How do we help the community not just enjoy them, but take ownership and really help maintain them? How do we make sure these spaces stay as beautiful today as they were the day they were built? It's used daily by many people. You see people walking, running, jogging, uh, riding the bike. The people themselves are helping keeping it clean. Every year we hold the Spicker River cleanup in September. We typically have over 400 volunteers coming out eager to get into the river and pull out trash. It's contagious. It's like people are happy, everybody wants to participate. We have a place for everybody and we have something for everyone to do. We all had our different section of the Spicker River to clean up. We picked up tons and tons of trash. I mean, by the end of the day, it was probably like 20 or 30 bags of trash. And that was just one small section of the river. My son was actually mentioning the river and how clean it is. We'll sit here and watch the water and just talk and chat and play and goof around. The water's going away. Though. I've seen people walk by and pick up the trash that they see. Just because it's so clean now, we kind of want to keep it that way. And that wasn't the case years ago. We keep the parks clean. It shows we care about our environment and we want to make it better when community groups and neighborhood residents and businesses and government all work together, we can accomplish things that any one of those groups just couldn't do by themselves. And I think that's just incredibly exciting as a testament to what a community can be when people work together and really um, share a vision and a purpose. Developing the greenway out on the edge of the river and going through all the parks have been a huge success. You know, that's why people are putting it to good use. It's a big deal to us. The change already has proven that it's going to continue to change and continue to get better. All my neighbors, they're excited. We can walk around and feel safe. And years ago, it didn't feel that way at all. I'm very happy living in Lawrence for the rest of my life and raising my son here. How often do you have an opportunity to bring people together, to be a catalyst for change, and then to see that change happen? to see the change in people's lives, to see the change in neighborhoods, and then to see the change in a city. 
Lawrence is one of the most beautiful places. There is so much commitment and drive and energy. How could we not help tap into that and be successful? When you have a beautiful place to live, you feel proud of it. You want people to come over and to see your city. People in the neighborhood where all of this green development take place, they love it, they use it, they appreciate it. And uh, you know, that goes hand in hand with all the other good things that we're trying to do. So this is, this is a big piece of it. So it makes a great, great city of Lawrence even a better city.